I'm Jessica Dean coming to you live from the National Constitution Center as Summerfest continues here on CBS 3 and we know history is all around us in Philadelphia. Our David Spunt takes a look back at how it all began and also what's ahead for our city. 241 years ago this week, delegates from the 13 colonies were inside this room, getting closer to declaring independence from King George III. But long before that scorching summer of 76, the Lenape tribe settled along the Delaware River in the 1600s. The Dutch, Finns, and Swedes then moved in. The colors of the Philadelphia flag are blue and gold. That's the colors of the flag of Sweden. Dr. Lee Arnold is the director of library and collections at the Historical Society of Pennsylvania. And he says this city has quite a story to tell. In 1682, a proud Quaker named William Penn founded Philadelphia. Wow. This is a William Penn letter handwritten in 1696. I don't think there's any other city in the United States that can even come near Philadelphia for its history or its importance with the nation. It's a city that's transformed from a revolutionary village 250 years ago to a hub of business and production in the 1950s and 60s, as seen in this city promotional film from 1963. Much has been accomplished in Philadelphia, but much more will be done. 50 years later, and even more is being done. Meet 37-year-old Charlie McGrath, a developer in Philadelphia who left the city for other big cities. He decided to come back to Philadelphia when he saw the future of the city right in front of his face. Thanks to Philly's growth, rents are increasing, so now we're able to over-deliver on amenities. He's overseeing a $50 million renovation of the Borson Old City. McGrath insists Philadelphia is now a destination, not just a stopover on the way to New York or Washington. Young people want to be here because it's affordable and because it's cool. And it's been cool for 300 years. David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.